everyone, I'm Blair Colvin and I am the FMC Technical Service Manager for Alabama and Georgia. And today we're standing in a beautiful peanut field in Southwest Georgia. And with me I have Madison Lane, our Precision Ag Field Specialist this summer, to help us talk a little bit about lesser cornstalk borers and peanuts. So for those of you that may not be familiar, lesser cornstalk borers are a pretty significant economic pest in peanuts and can be very detrimental for yield and are important for growers to manage. Lesser cornstalk borers can be identified by their characteristic coloring. They have bluish green stripes along their body and they also like to do a little wiggle dance when they're touched. So if you touch that worm, it just starts dancing all over your fingers. So that's very characteristic. Um, the problem with lesser cornstalk borers in peanuts is that they can be very difficult to scout for. And this is because they spend most of their life in the soil, in the peanut plant, or inside of a silken tube that they build right off of the peanut plant. So to find them, you really have to get down on the ground, dig around in the dirt, pull plants apart to actually find if the pest is in the field. So because of their cryptic nature, growers may not even realize that they have a problem with this pest unless you have someone intensely scouting for it. So it's really important to actually scout and look for the pest and see if it's in the field because for management and to control it properly, you need to time that spray accurately. Another thing to think about when you're scouting for lessers or trying to see if you have a problem is that this pest is favored by extremely hot and dry weather and also sandy soils. So if that's what your environment is looking like, it kind of tells us that it's time to be scouting for that pest. Madison, you've been doing a lot of work on the lesser cornstalk borer and peanut this summer. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the project you've had going on? Absolutely, Blair. So this summer, um, this was a pilot program that we just started from FNC, and we would place these smart traps. I got to deploy them 120 smart traps over 5,000 acres right here in Georgia. And these smart traps are pretty unique because they have a solar powered camera that sits right on top of a Delta trap. And we insert a sticky card in here that has a lure. And this is where we collect those moths at. So this smart trap is directly connected to an app. FMC has launched this summer for this precision ag program and what it does is it takes a picture and it will send them directly to my cell phone and I'm able to see these images that we are receiving from this smart trap. So Madison tell me what is the name of this app and how does it work? So this app is called our ARC Farm Intelligence app and it was just launched this year from our Precision Ag department and basically this app when you pull it up on your phone it will show us our counts of these moths that we are collecting in these fields and it'll also show us if we have a low medium or high pest pressure based on the color so it can be green yellow or red and this will detect hey we need to get out in that field and we need to start scouting based off of the colors that we're receiving from our app that seems like that would be really convenient if this trap is checking my traps for me and just sending it to my phone so I don't have to actually physically get in my truck and go see if we're catching moths. That's pretty neat. So Madison, with all this monitoring you've been doing of lesser cornstalk borer, what have you seen this season, like from the beginning to where we are now? So as you mentioned previously, these lessers, they do like hot, dry, sandy soils. And previously, in the beginning of the season, we noticed these hot, dry conditions that made this pretty much an outbreak year for these lessers. So we had high moth counts in our traps that were being sent to our phone. And now that few app spray applications have been made and you know we've had a few rains, it's kind of lowered the pest pressure. And that's what we're noticing based off of the images that we've been receiving. Okay, well good to know we're past the worst of the lesser cornstalk borer outbreak this year. So Madison, with all the work you've been doing with these traps all summer, how do you think this technology can help growers in the future? So we're hoping that we will be able to take these images that we're receiving and this data and time a spray more accurately. And we're hoping that by placing these traps out in the field, farmers can monitor their fields a little more closely and then be able to go out and scout if need be based off of what these traps are sending to their phone. So Madison, with all the great work you've been doing this summer, how have you been getting the word out to growers in the area? So we have been sending out this weekly pest alert that shows all of our trap locations where I have placed a trap right here in Georgia. And right here you can see these are all the moths that we have been detecting. And then we always like to include a photo along with this. And right here you can see that we just had a high pest pressure this week. And we always like to include a reminder along with this that says if you do find lessers in your field, you can always spray Vantacor and it has that active ingredient Renaxapir. It has a minimal impact on beneficials and it has that long residual. That's really neat and I bet this is super useful for growers in the area. 
Thanks, Madison, for taking the time to share with us about the Precision Ag Project we had going on in Georgia this summer.